This is one of the Inslin pens, and it's called a Novlin Pen 4, and it looks just like a pen. It's got a cap on one end, it's got a dose indicator window in the middle here, and on this end is a dial. And if I was to put a tube of insulin in, I would just pull the cap of the pen off, and then these two pieces come apart in the middle. And to do that, you just put one hand on this side, one hand on this side, twist your hands in opposite directions, and it comes apart. You have to retract the piston to its starting position. Then I'll get a tube of insulin. Each tube of insulin comes in a box, and in each box there's five cartridges. They're called tubes or they're called cartridges. So I'm going to take one of these cartridges out and the cartridge, it fits into this black section. The yellow end fits in first into this section here and when you put it in the right way you'll see the yellow end come out this end. Um, you can try to put it in the opposite way but it actually won't fit. So you have to put the yellow end in first mm -hmm. like that and then you put the two pieces back together again by fitting it in and twisting and it snaps in. Do you want to try that? Sure. To undo it. Mm -hmm. So opposite direction. Put it back together. Perfect. Perfect. So on this end, where you see the threads are, that's where the insulin needle is going to fit. Mm -hmm. This is as said as the dose indicator window, and on this section here is the dial. This button, if I push it in, mm -hmm. it's locked, and I can't, um, I can't turn the dose. But if I pull it out, then I can actually turn the dose to different numbers. What's nice about this pen is that if I dial up and go past what I actually want, I can just dial back again. Mm. Okay. So if I was going to use this pen, the first thing I'd want to do is I want to get a needle. Each needle uh, comes with a piece of paper on it, and the, you pull the piece of paper off like that, and this needle just fits over top of the pen. You push it over top first, and then you turn it firmly all the way on, like that. Mm okay. Each pen needle has two caps on it. So to take the caps off, I always hold on to the end, and I pull that cap off. That's the outside cap. Then it has an inside cap right here, and I hold on to the tip and pull that one off. Okay. Now, before I do any injection, I usually prime the pen. It's also called doing a safety check. So to do that on this end, I first, when I'm starting a brand new tube of insulin, I always turn it to number four first. So it just means you go one, and you hear a click too. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then you hold the needle straight up. And you're going to push the button on the end here. And when I push it in all the way, this is going to turn to zero. But I'm also going to see some insulin come out. So when I push this button up, mm -hmm. you can see the insulin come out. And I, this has gone back to zero again. So each time I use this, do I have to do a safety check to go to four, like for um, one tube? Mm-hmm. Like exactly. So when you first put a brand new tube in, mm -hmm. you're going to turn it to number four, and then you're going to push the button to see insulin come out. So only for when I put a brand new tube in. And then after every injection, after that first time, then you just turn it to number one. Okay. So the reason for the safety check is that I want to make sure that there's no air in the system and I also want to make sure that I can see some insulin come out. Okay. Those are the two reasons. So I'm going to, let's say it's your tomorrow, you're going to go for another injection. Okay. And to do the check, you're going to do number one now, okay. point the needle up, push the button up, okay. you see a drop of insulin come out, okay. you know everything's A-OK. -okay. So once you've done that check, then you can go ahead and dial your dose of insulin. So to do that, you pull the button out, turn it to your dose. Do you know what your dose is? Eight. There's eight. Okay. okay. And it's ready for the injection. Thanks. Do you want to try that? Sure. So right from... So right from number one. Okay. So, 
seven, eight. Okay. Perfect. That's how you measure your dose. All right. Perfect. You'll see this plug go lower, 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 all the way down to this line here. When you get down, when this plug reaches this line right here, mm -hmm. that means you should take it up the, the pen apart and put a brand new tube in. How often can I use the needle? The needle's meant to be used once only, mm -hmm. and after you've used it, what I do is I take this pla outside plastic cap, I put it over top, and then I unscrew the needle. And there's two places that are safe places to put a used needle. One is to put them into um, a device that you get from the pharmacy, mm -hmm. a sharps disposal, you just put the needles in like that. And then some of the pharmacies, well, they will take these back and then they'll give you a brand new one when this is full. Uh, second safe way of disposing of used needles is you can use like an old coffee tin, or an old plastic container, mm -hmm. and you put all the used needles in that. And then when the lid, when the container is full, you put the lid on top and then tape it on, and then you can throw it in the garbage. Okay.